I'm Sheldon and you're watching Broadcast Basics. Today on episode two, we talk about how to connect your camera to your computer. We also talk about capture cards and ways to extend the distance between your camera and your streaming PC, plus my recommendations. All this and more on Broadcast Basics. At this point, you should have a good idea of which software switcher you plan to use on your Mac or PC. Um, I use VidBlaster, but I have a list of others. There's Wirecast, there's Boinks TV, there's Ustream Producer, and then there's Livestream. They all have basic software switchers to get you up and running. Um, the one you choose is going to depend on your budget, and it's also going to depend on the user interface. So how intuitive it is and how easy it is for you to learn. When picking a capture card, you need to ask yourself a few questions. Which capture cards are compatible with my software? How many cameras does my card support? How many cameras do I want to use during a broadcast? Does Capture Card X support the resolution that my camera outputs? PCIe, USB 3, or Thunderbolt? How many of these capture devices will my Mac or PC support? And at one time, what type of inputs do I need? HDMI, component, standard RCA, or SDI. All of these are very important factors when deciding on capture cards. Up next, I want to talk about some of my favorite capture devices and different converters you can use also. So one of the first capture cards that I purchased was from Blackmagic Design, and that's the Intensity Pro. This capture card is, is great. It, it supports HDMI as well as component, and HD resolutions as well as SD resolutions. This card um, is a PCIe card so it goes inside of your tower and it does well. It, it's even supported by most of the software switchers that I mentioned earlier in the show. Blackmagic makes many types of capture cards so do your homework and find the one that best suits your needs. They have cards that support Thunderbolt or USB 3 as well as other PCIe cards that have multiple inputs on one card or they support SDI many types of cards, so go to their website and find the one that best works for your broadcast. Now I want to share a few tips. My first tip comes from Tom Sinclair of That Bit Blaster Guy. He does a weekly show on broadcasting. You should check it out. It's on Wednesdays. Tom suggested about a year ago that I should use balance to extend my range from my broadcast tower. So. I was doing sports and I wanted to move my camera 100 or even 200 feet away from my streaming PC. And he suggested I use balance and here's an example of what they are. These are basically converters that convert your signal, whether that's HDMI or component, into Cat5 cable. And if you have one on each end, it will extend over 250 feet. It's a great converter and I suggest using this for moments when you need a camera stretched far away. Okay, so I've got a couple of things on this table. I want to just kind of give a quick demo of how these balance work. I've got a HD prosumer camera um, and this is the included component output cable that comes with this camera. And I'm just going to plug it into the, the output. And normally you would take the um, the plugs and plug them into your capture card um, you know whatever device you're using to capture your video and in this case we're actually gonna plug these directly into the ballon so that's this ballon right here where's my camera there it is and it's gonna match up the colors of course blue goes with blue red goes with red and green with green now the other end of that ballon um, is where the Cat5e cable would plug into. So I'm just going to use a little short cable right here, Cat5e cable. Um, obviously you would be doing all of this to have a very long Cat5e cable, a hundred foot cable. Um, so you're going to plug this in. I'm just using the short one for demo. And then the other end of your Cat5e cable um, plugs into your second ballon. So you'll plug that into the back of here. And theoretically, this would be, like I said, a longer cable, so this would be stretched far, far away. And now you're converting back to component. So then 
what you could use. I'm gonna use my dongle that comes with the Intensity Pro. Remember I said the Intensity Pro has HDMI inputs and component? Well, if you wanna use the component on the Intensity Pro, you have to use one of the, these dongles that comes with it. Um, but basically it plugs the exact same way. Blue goes with blue, green with green, and red with red. And so this dongle now plugs into your Intensity Pro and then you just tell the Intensity Pro in your settings that I wanna input component video. So that's basically it. That's how these balloons work. And believe it or not, it works flawlessly. I wanna share with you one more converter. Um, there's gonna be a more in-depth video on this converter later in the future, but I wanted to talk about it today since we talked about capture cards, we talked about other converters. Um, so I wanted to share this one uh, briefly. This, this converter is amazing. It's called the Atomos Connect Converter. And um, it's gonna be more for the advanced broadcasters, broadcasters that are using SDI cable. Um, that would obviously mean they have an SDI camera, so that's more the pro cameras. And, um, you know, capture cards to support SDI. This converter is pretty new on the market. It's only been out for, I think, a year or two. And, um, you know, people are starting to get hip to it, but it's an amazing converter. There's an internal battery. It accepts those generic Sony style batteries, NP style batteries, and they're hot swappable, so you never lose signal. Um, there's color bars and 3 2 pull down. Uh, there's a flashlight and test code generator. All that's inside this small little package. Um, it's just amazing. So, if you are needing to go SDI to HDMI or vice versa, HDMI to SDI, these converters are great. Well, that's our episode for today. Join us next week when we'll be talking about software switchers. All those software switchers I mentioned earlier today, we're going to talk about all of them. Plus, always my recommendations, my tips, and all my tricks. Thanks for watching Broadcast Basics. Be sure to add My Slice TV on Twitter and subscribe to us on YouTube. All of our links are listed below. Thanks for watching.